Hey guys, welcome back to Ride Out MMA. We're doing a super simple drill for you today. It's called the lead and follow drill. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and check this out and make sure you're practicing it. This drill we're going to be doing is called the lead and follow drill. And I know I keep saying the lead and follow thing, but that's all footwork is, especially when we get into foundations. So with our partners, right, I'm going to be working with Yasmin here. So we're going to be keeping a jabs distance away, which is basically our mid range where we can land all our punches. I'm not close in where I can only hit these short hooking punches. I'm not out far where I can only step in to throw my strikes. I'm right in the middle of it all where I can land any punch that I want to. And so can my opponent here. So as simple as it sounds, any direction that I'm going to be going, Yazzie's going to be following me. So if I move this way right to my lead side, she's going to step to her rear and match me perfectly. If I go backwards, she's going to follow me. If I go to my rear side, again, she's following me. If I try to push her back, right, she matches that footwork and we maintain this range the entire time. And you can make this a little bit more challenging, but just to start, especially for beginners, or even if you just want to warm up and kind of have your footwork perfectly on point for the rest of the session, you got to be really working with your opponent and make sure every step is perfect. We're never crossing our feet. Everything is matched perfectly. And it's just that easy. I don't bring my feet together. I'm always leading and following in every direction. And you can start challenging your opponent just a little bit, but the footwork needs to stay consistent. All right. I'm going to try to mess her up just a little bit, but we're both just warming up here. And then we'll switch it. Okay. So we did maybe a minute and a half, two minutes of me doing the lead, and then Yazzie will go. Okay. So she leads me and I follow. No matter where she goes, I'm going to match her. And she make it a little bit more dynamic, sort of working around me. And all I'm going to do is keep that mid-range and stay right in front of her the entire time. And this is really important to know for our offense and for our defense, because anytime our opponents are moving their feet, we got to move ours too, or we're going to be left in the dust. All right, they're going to be setting up attacks on us. And once you know a little bit more advanced footwork, you can work that in as well, right? Your pivots. But in general, it's all about that simple, simple lead and follow. And I suggest you guys do that about two minutes, one person leading, and then two minutes, the other person leading. And you just go back and forth for a little bit and pick up the pace as you go. For beginners, one of the most important drills you can do, it's something that I do with people on the very first days that I train them. After I do all of the initial stuff, of just getting this walk down and then we chase each other around for a little bit and make it kind of fun. So just one last thing when you're doing this stuff, make sure you're not staring at your partner's feet. You want to be looking at their midsection the entire time. If I'm looking at her feet, I'm going to get lost and distracted by them and that's when we, they end up landing punches on us. So instead, I stare at the midsection and I make sure I'm gazing there to see everything. One of my favorite sayings is that if you look at something, you'll see nothing. But if you look at nothing, you'll see everything. So gaze at the center and make sure you can see both the hands and the feet and her face. So you cover every piece of her body while you're chasing her around or she's chasing you around. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Check out some of our other videos for other content about breakdowns and stuff to learn. Cool. We'll see you.